Lady Randall was a mariner that tarried in her very end. He built a boat of timber, felled in limber, thou to journey in. Her sails he wove of silver, fair of silver were her lanterns, made a prowess fashioned like a swan, and light upon her banners lay. In panoply of ancient kings and chained rings, he armored him, his shining shield was scored with runes to ward all wounds and harm from him. His bow was made of dragon horn, his arrow shone of ebony, of silver was his habergeon, his scabbard of chalcedony. His sword of steel was valiant, of adamant his helmet tall. An eagle plume upon his crest, upon his breast an emerald. Beneath the moon and under star he wandered far from northern strands, bewildered on enchanted ways beyond the days of mortal lands. From gnashing of the narrow ice, where shadow lies on frozen hills, from nether heat and burning waste, he turned in haste and roving still on starless waters far astray. At last he came to a night of naught and past an ever sight. Of shining shore, nor light he saw. The winds of wrath came driving him, and blindly in the foam he fled. From west to east, and errantless. Heralded he homeward sped Their flying elven came to him And flame was in the darkness lit More bright than light of diamonds The fire upon her car The silver roll she bound in him and crowned him with the living light and dauntless there with burning brow he turned his brow and in the night from other world beyond the sea there strong and free a storm arose a wind of power and charm and by path that seldom mortal goes his boat did bore with biting breath as light of death across the Long forsaken seas distressed From east to west he passed away Through ever night he back was born On black and roaring waves that ran O'er leagues unlit and found a short that drowned before the days began until he heard on strands of pearl where ends the world the music long wherever foaming billows roll the yellow gold and jewels won Saw the mountain silent rise where twilight lies upon the knees of Balinor and Eldamar beheld afar beyond the seas. A wanderer escaped from night to haven white he came at last to elven home the green and fair where keen the air where pale as glass. Beneath the hill of Ilmarin a glimmer Start of Tyrion, are mirrored on the shadow mirror.
He tarried there from errantry and melodies they taught to him And sages told him marvels told and harps of gold they brought to him they clothed him then in elven white, and seven lights before him sent it through the Calisirian to hidden land forlorn he went. He came unto the timeless halls where shining fall the countless years and endless rains. The elder king in Ilmarin on mountain sheer. And words unheard were spoken then of folk of men and elven kin beyond the world where vision shows. For bitter those that dwell therein A ship that knew what they built for him Of Ithril and of elven glass With shining prow no shaven oar Nor sail she bore on silver mast The Silmaril as lantern light And banner bright with living flame To gleam thereon by Elbereth Herself was set who thither came And wings immortal made for him And laid on him undying doom to sail the shoreless skies and come behind the sun and light of moon from ever even's lofty hills where softly silver fountains fall his wings him bore a wandering light Worlds and then he turned away and yearned again to find afar his home through shadows journeying and burning as an island star. On high above the mist he came a distant flame before the sun, a wonder at the waking dawn, where grey the northern waters run. And over Middle Earth he passed and heard at last the weeping storm. Of women and of elven maids In elder days and years of yore But on him mighty doom was laid Till moon should fade an orbit star To pass and tarry nevermore On hither short where mortals are Forever still a herald on an errand that should never rest To bear his shining lamp afar The flame of her of Westerness